front of Argentina's Congress, actors, musicians, filmmakers and intellectuals marked the first month in office of President Javier Milei demanding that lawmakers reject the executive's initiative to cut government support for cultural institutions. We're demonstrating so that they don't take our livelihood away from us. We are part of the working class, not a privileged caste. State support for film and arts has won this country global recognition. Argentina's rich cultural life is one of this country's outstanding characteristics. Even through difficult times, it's managed to shine. But should Congress approve the president's unprecedented belt tightening measures, many here say they will have a very, very hard time surviving. Jimena Salas is a film editor who depends, at least in part, on highly competitive grants from the National Institute for Cinema and Visual Arts. She argues that cutting its funding will not only hurt filmmakers, but Argentina's cultural sovereignty. Culture is important for everyone, not just the workers. It reinforces our national identity. But Argentina's economy is in crisis, deep in debt and with triple-digit inflation. The only solution, says the president, is for Congress to approve an emergency bill to slash social spending and privatize everything possible. Outside Congress, these protesters respond with calls for a national strike. This as Argentina's largest trade union confederation calls for a countrywide action later this month, a crucial litmus test for the new president's plans to dismantle Latin America's oldest welfare state. Paro, paro, paro. You see in human Al Jazeera, Buenos Aires. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.